So today we're going to take a look at some of the information that we have on new maps in the works for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. This information is from a tweet by Daniel Tack, PC editor at Game Informer magazine. More information will be in their June issue of Game Informer, so keep an eye out for that. Links will be in the description below in regards to Game Informer. Now let's take a closer look at the work in progress sketch of one of the new maps that Daniel shared. And it looks to be a desert landscape, possibly South American in location. And from the get-go, the one thing that grabbed my eye was the primary downtown and secondary downtown in the center of the map, as well as stadium, with the crisscross lines representing the streets of the downtown areas. So it looks like we could possibly be getting a larger urban playground, more akin to the city scene in the map of H1Z1, which of course could offer up some town square rooftop sniper action, or epic car chases through the streets of the city. As for the stadium on the western outskirts of downtown, we would be looking at one main large center area surrounded by tight corridors, entranceways, and raised stadium seating, making for some tense close quarter combat or long range across stadium gunfights. We also have two destroyed bridges heading in from the east and south across downtown and just north of the stadium and to the east of hillside slums. And where these two bridges intersect just northeast of the stadium, it looks like we may have some slip road access. So with that said, it's not only the players on the streets of downtown we've got to contend with, we're also going to have threats from above. Running down the east side of the map and across the south, it's looking like we could have some kind of winding river, and along that, a couple of small oasis towns. It also might be worth making clear that this winding river, oasis town, ridge town, and ancient Pueblo village are all situated inside a canyon, where the destroyed bridges once led to the other side. And heading west to east across the north of the map, we have a leftover village. Slightly further east of that, we have old comm towers, potentially being the perfect location for a sniper's nest. And to separate secondary downtown from two desert towns in the northeast corner of the map, we have some sand dunes, makeshift farming fields, and another small town. Of course, we must keep in mind that things may change from this work-in-progress mock-up of the desert map. And the second map in the works is apparently a colder, snowier climate. But that is all we know so far. I just have one question. Does this mean snow and desert gillies? Hmm. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on these new work-in-progress maps. I'm still learning the map we have already, but it's always nice to have a bit of variety. All relevant links will be in the description below, as always. Don't forget to 360 no-scope that like button, and I'll see you peeps next time.